All right, what's up, my friends? Welcome. More modern, more modern, more modern. We're trying out a pretty interesting one. I found this list online. Um, I changed it a little bit, but pretty interesting looking deck. These decks have floated around a little bit uh, in modern before, like rally decks and return to ranks decks. This is a Lurus Aristocrats deck. And um, Doom Traveler, Hunter Witness, you know, token maker thingies. Fuel and tokens into our sacrifice outlets and then into our our Blood Artist effects to try and kill our opponent in one big shot. So Blood Artist, of course, if a creature dies, you drain your opponent for one. Same with Cruel Celebrant. So these are obviously work well with our, our sacrificing creatures, sacrifice stuff, sacrifice stuff. Eventually you cast Return to the Ranks, return a bunch of creatures back, sack them all, and kill your opponent. And we can also, we can also small ball our opponent here. Uh, carrying Feeders, a nice beat down creature, good sack outlet. Priest of Forgotten Cods, pretty powerful card. Obviously you see some bland standard, but in modern there's less removal in a lot of the decks, and this card's pretty awesome. Um, Supplier is obviously great, builds up the graveyard, death triggers, uh, tight Isle Skeller, Viscera Seer. All makes sense. All makes sense. Three Thalias is a little bit of just a little bit little bit of disruption. Our only non-creature spell is return to the ranks and we can invoke it through the Thalia cost anyway. So that's pretty cool. And we're a Lurus deck. Even though Lurus is you know a little neutered here with the new companion rule, uh, it's still good. And if we're flooding, it's definitely a good card to have. And um, it's good against you know grindy decks that may be able to kill all of our stuff. So, Lurus is sweet. Cyborg all makes sense for the most part. Only an interesting card here is Leona Relic Warder. Kills Rest in Peace, kills Leona of the Void, kills Raft Digger's Cage, and all the cards that might bother us. Uh, deck's cool. Let's just battle. Just jump in. I don't have time for a, a popper draft, too. So, just played uh, Living End with a Cycling Cyborg Juke. That was awesome. And we also played um, Naya Winonta in Modern as well. That was also awesome. Multiple turn three kills. So um, look for those on YouTube if you missed them. And let's keep going. New companion rule. Now you pay three mana at sorcery speed to put the companion into your hand. Play Lurus in the main deck? I don't think so. Um, it's fine, but it's not like super in line with what we're trying to do. And I'd rather just have it as a free card off to the side. There aren't many cards you'd want to play in this deck anyway that don't fit the restriction for Lurus. So like, it's kind of free to play, realistically. You know, cost a sideboard slot, and if you're flooding, you cast it. And if you're not, whatever. You don't have to cast Lurus, you know. We're not like a, a Seal of Fire, Mishra's Bobble, like, deck that's, like, built around Lurus like it was before they changed the rule. So, remember, folks, check CoolStuffInc.com, CoolStuffInc.com, number one source for your game shopping needs. Uh, you can sell your cards to them. Here, watch, watch this commercial, actually. This is pretty... Please watch this instructional video. Coolstuffinc.com Live Buys. This unique service makes it safe and easy to sell your cards and minis. Using any variety of video chat services, we'll review your collection in a live appraisal. Check out Coolstuffinc.com slash buy list for more information. Pretty sweet. So you can sell your cards to cool stuff, you can buy cards on cool stuff. And of course, if you use promo code Jim5, you get 5% off your order on cool stuff. Coolstuffinc.com. I also do a video Monday, article Friday, yesterday's video. 37 lands in historic. Check that one out. Win the die roll. Lurus, I choose you. And, uh, unfortunately, no lands here. Uh, can't keep his hand in the play. Um, we do have Seer. We could scry, but on the draw, I might keep, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna mulligan here. Cool. Works for me. Going to five. Going to five. Take that seven back, please. All right. So we're going to keep a, a one land five card hand rather than a one land seven card hand, which stinks. But what evskis? Opponent also mulligan to six. Come on, an opponent. The water's fine. Just a nice little mulligan to five here. Join me. Join me. We're going to ship Seer and probably Thalia. We don't know if Thalia is going to be good. And I think I'd rather just keep the Priest. Opponent keeps six. Ship Seer. I guess it could be Sculler. Sculler or Thalia? 
I also need to, like, just draw a land, too, which kind of stinks around the play. I guess Skeller works well with Priest. You can, like, stack the trigger and stack the Skeller. Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of the value. All right, so got to draw land here. Uh, we're going to... We're going to lead on Feeder, I think. Yeah, Skeller will, is like a two-mana Thoughtseize, basically, so... Arid Mesa... Okay. We getting uh, Goblin Guided here? Yeah, we are getting Goblin Guided. Land on top, please. It's not a land. It's a Carrion Feeder. Okay, we're in trouble. Uh... Probably in trouble here. We have a really good sideboard. We have Brutality, so we have a pro red creature. Um, so, yeah, yeah, guarantee mill three land. We're, we're going to mill Crossroads, or I mean, Courtyard, uh, Marsh Flats, Swamp. If it ever resolves. Nope, and we'll return to the ranks and two celebrants. So, actually pretty good, because milling two celebrants means that if we draw a return a little later in the game, it'll probably be lethal. So, it's not bad. It's not bad. Thanks for following Nonsense Boy, appreciate that. If you have followed, just hit that follow button, of course, you're watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. Welcome, everyone. Playing some modern. Sunbaked Canyon. Goblin Guide number two. Oh, my God. They have triple one drop. Oh, God. All right, we're dead. These Goblin Guides better turn up multiple lands. That's one. Okay. Ask and ye shall receive. Probably still dead, but... Triple one drop on the play hand from Burn is like usually unbeatable. You mill more creatures. Um, what are we playing next turn? Like, we play Priest, it probably forces a bolt. Opponent. Let's go. Alright, so we take three. They've got three cards in hand. Yeah, we're super dead. Pretty sad about that Thalia, honestly. Kind of sure we get that Thalia back, you know? Alright. Um, so with multiple two drops... We could have gone Godless Shrine Traveler, I guess. I think we're just going to play Priest and just, like, hope they don't have a, a way to kill it. Hope they don't have a way to kill us and hope we draw a return to the ranks, which is, like, an absurd number of things that has to happen for us not to lose this game, but... You know, we're probably drawing a spell next turn because any lands on top will get cleared off by the by the goblin guides. Aspiring spike. Thanks to the raid, appreciate that aspiring spike. Aspiring spike, how are you enjoying full time streaming? Happy to see you took the plunge. 
Of course, if you haven't seen Aspiring Spice Channel, check them out. There's a lot of modern content, which uh, obviously we're doing right now. So, thanks, Spike. I appreciate that. If you're sitting in, welcome to the stream. We're playing modern today. We've already played Naya Winota. A lot of turn three kills with that one. We played Living End, Cyborg Juke into Flourishing Fox Cycling Deck. And now we're playing a... Um, and now we're playing uh, Blackwood Aristocrats and our opponents in chat. Well, I appreciate that TV. I mean, hopefully you're not looking at my hand, but... For those, who know, for those who don't know, I don't talk in Magic Online chat. I usually give a smiley face, but I don't usually talk because I can't really talk and, uh, and, and stream. So if you're playing against me and I don't respond, don't feel offended, all right? Sounds good, TV. Sorry, 10 days ago? It's awesome. Well, TV, good luck, my friend, and good luck streaming. Let's battle. Please don't kill me, because <laughs> you're probably going to. Spike, have a go, my friend. Thanks for the raid. Appreciate that. My streaming, my streaming schedule has been pretty sporadic lately. We're, we just bought a new house. We're fixing it up. All right, they're going to Lightning Helix, my Priest of Forgotten Gods. Oh, no, no, no. Almost F6 it. Whew. Close. Close. So, um Yeah, I'm at, we're in the new house. This is my uh this is one of the upstairs bedrooms. My office is still being worked on. We gotta get the it'll be like the electrician over and things like that. We put a door in. We drew return to the ranks, actually. Um if three cards in it. Is it possible to survive for one turn here and cast return to the ranks? As it stands, we can cast it for two. Oh, the door's all set. Yeah, it's great. But it's funny because if it, if it was Rally the Ancestors, we'd just win. Um, which is pretty, it's a pretty interesting choice. Return's a better grindy card, but um, Rally's a better combo card. So we can like get back like Thalia, like Celebrant. Which will make it hard for them to attack or cast spells. Um, what do we do here? Can I kill them? I Maybe mean, I can kill them actually. Between Celebrant triggers and Doom Traveler triggers. Three, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I think they're just dead, actually. Oh, no, I can't. I, I've tapped this. Though. I'm being stupid. Um, man. What do we do? What do we do? Um, I mean, definitely shocking. Play Doom Traveler. I get back Celebrant, Celebrant. Then we get to drain them for a decent amount. But Thalia seems pretty good, important. Thalia blocks Goblin Guides and then impedes their ability to cast spells. And they only have two mana. So, all right, let's get back Thalia and Celebrant. Celebrant is, counts itself. Blood Artist also counts itself, but... Celebrant Celebrant does not end the game. We sacrifice Traveler for two, Traveler for two, Celebrant for two, Celebrant for one. And we also can't block. Oh, I can Convoke. You're right. You're right. Oh, I'm being stupid. I'm being stupid. Hold on. I forgot that I can Convoke. I can tap this for white. It's not Improvise. So yeah, I'm being stupid. Hold on. They might actually be dead. So now we have three, or two, four, six... Seven, eight, nine. Uh, because it's a sorcerer, we can't do it during their turn. We're thinking, you're thinking of rally. Get back, celebrant, celebrant. I have scholar in my hand. Yeah, maybe it is celebrant, celebrant. Actually, we're gonna have no blockers though. That's the problem. So like, 
I guess the Traveler token can block, and the Celebrants can block too, but then once the Celebrants block, they're kind of dead. This is a really, really difficult spot. Um, it's Celebrant, Thalia, or Celebrant, Celebrant. Thalia blocks really well. I think, I think it's Thalia, Celebrant. Um, and then like if they attack, our, th our carrying feeders are still lethal anyway. So if I... If I get Celebrant, Celebrant, I'll have a, a token and two Celebrants to block, and the blocks aren't even good. Yeah, all right, we're doing this. All right, so... Celebrant 2 is not lethal. Can't attack, correct. So we have to tap all of our stuff. One more mana and we were great, but if we could have, like, Traveler, tap it for Convoke, sack it, tap a token for Convoke, that would have worked, but... All right, they can't cast more than one spell here because of Thalia, which is pretty great. Unless they have Searing Blaze, which would suck. But any big attack also means we can crack back for probably lethal, too, so... Complicated game state. Pretty sick draw. Pretty sick draw there on the old return to the ranks. If it had been X for one just for Blood Artist and sack all the big feeder, it wasn't lethal? I don't think so. Um, yeah, it's our first game with the deck, too. We're really trial by fire here. So if we had gotten back only Celebrant and had the Feeder untapped, we would attack for 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, it was exactly lethal. I screwed up. Because it's 3 for each thing. So if Feeder's untapped and Thalia's not in play, they were tapped out. I attacked with Feeder. They're at 11. That's 8. Traveler is 7 6. Token is uh, 5 4. Feeder is 3 2. Celebrant's 1 0. Yep. Oh, they were 12. Got it. See, I was smart. Never mind. They weren't dead. They would have gone to 1. They were at 12. All right. What's up here? And again, we're probably drawing a spell next turn So because of the Goblin Guides. So, Appreciate Forgotten Guys. Not the best spell. Not the best spell. And I think we want to probably go big on f or spread out the feeders. Let me spread them out, actually. Block Goblin Guide and block probably Goblin Guide. They can only, can only, can only cast one spell, so. Modern Aristocrats. Lurus Aristocrats. Find it hard to see hard to see us dying this turn or them not dying next turn, given the current game state. Unless they have, like, two mana bolt for Thalia and some other spell, too, but it doesn't even kill us, so I don't know what the problem would be. Carrion Feeder can't block, but it definitely turns your chump blocks into a big backswing, you know? I love Carrion Feeder. Super, super cool card. Perfect design. It's, like, super elegant for synergy decks. Not overpowered. It's a great card. White, red, red. Boros Charm. Permanents you control are indestructible until end of turn. Does this just kill them? So we just sack this. Sack this. And they just die, right? Alright. Works for me. Cool. That was very, very lucky. I mean... We had to draw a return to the ranks literally that turn. Literally that turn. So very, very lucky on our part.
We'll take it. Good hand. They, they had the triple one drop on the play hand too. Whew. Scary stuff. All right, so we're going to bring in our forge tenders and our brutalities. Um, so the question is if you want relic water or not because they could bring in like rest of beach, something like that. Um, I would say we don't want Tide Hollow Sculler or Priest of Forgotten Gods because they both seem pretty bad. <sighs> Fatal Push, I don't think we're interested in. We have Brutality and we have Blockers. You can bring in like three Relic Warders. Are you good with just water? Or Man, I got Tater Tots. Life is good. Life is good. Thanks, Dudes. Anything else to drink or anything I'm else? good. Thanks, Dudes. John gets chicken nuggets, tater tots. That means I get chicken nuggets and tater tots. Huh. Uh, yeah, Priest is just terrible and Skull. I think, I think I like this. We could bring in the pushes, but I don't think we need it. Um, and the thing is that the only card that really scares me is Eidolon, and Relic Warder kills that anyway. And we also have Brutality too, so... Maybe we like... We do want the pushes, actually. Oh, uh, we have four fetch lands. Maybe do this, actually. I should have one return to the ranks. I think we can beat them just, like, on the fair plan. Um, but I guess if they have... I guess the problem is that Rest in Peace also turns off the Blood Artist, too. Yeah, I want three Relic Warders, actually. Maybe we just go to a two return to the ranks. Hmm. That's complicated. Let's try this. Not really sure. Not really sure. Teratops better than Yorian? Well, yeah, Teratops are great. You can lure us, too. Uh, I mean, Thalia's a nut, so... We're gonna keep this. It's not great, but... One ball against a six, sure. Well, that's kind of nice, actually. So we can fetch a swamp here. Probably get carrion feeder. Yeah, air fryers are cool. I've heard about that before. Definitely uh, a thing we might be looking into getting at some point. What's up, Hedges? New house is coming along. Just like a never-ending parade of contractors and plumbers and electricians. We have, a, we have a leak in our little heating system we found yesterday where they're doing the floor. Like, it just never ends, but it's going along. It's a lot to do. We have the people coming to measure the kitchen, like, on Thursday, I think. Um, plumber tomorrow, contractor tomorrow... Electrician waiting to get back. We have we have work we have work to do as far as painting. It's a lot, you know. We're we're, we're getting there, but all right. So we're just gonna play land, say go. All right. I mean, we're just gonna play Thalia and say go. So Thalia Thalia is just so good against burn. It's basically forced him to have a bolt. Oh, we're busy. Path to Exile. That's actually insane. I would love an extra land here, sure. Um, yeah, I just can't wait to get the office set up. You know, I want to get all my stuff going, so on and so forth. Um, so looking forward to having a... We're, we're, the office is basically... The door is done now. Um, this Calvin guide is just insane. We just need to uh, get the electrician in there, get some things done. Um... Rift Bolt, too. Skewer the Critics. So we're at six, and they have one card. That's terrifying. Uh, okay. All right. I mean, Supplier can hopefully hit some sort of a, a Blood Artist effect. 
Be- yeah, the AC people are coming in like I think early June. Thalia and Forge Tender. So maybe we just convoke here and get back Thalia and Forge Tender in one shot. Because Forge Tender is like pretty big game with us at six. It does blow a return to the ranks, but I could also just sack the supplier. Fetched Umana, Thalia, Forge Tender. Um, yeah. Let's just try and hit. We're short, though. We're short. Because we don't have mana to, to do it for more than two anyway. Oh, it's a tough spot to be at six life. Even if I hit other things. I guess if I hit, like, Blood Artist, I would get back Blood Artist and Forge Tender and just cast Thalia. Yeah, all right. A second Forge Tender? That's pretty wild. Uh... Okay. Would I rather get Forge Tender, Forge Tender, or Forge Tender, Cruel Celebrant? It's a pretty interesting question. Double Forge Tender is insane. Like, it just counters the next two spells and blocks Goblin Guide forever. Yeah, let's get Forge Tender, Forge Tender. We only have one return left, but, like... Now we're just, you know, like in really good shape. We can start attacking them with our stuff. We have Thalia. Uh, Alright, so... They're saying they have Skullcrack. So we'll just block with one. Okay. Interesting. Or nah. Top card, Relic Warder. All right, we're just gonna play Thalia. Start there. Three mana, two, or two mana to Lightning Helix. I guess we're gonna prevent that. I guess we don't have to, right? I guess we... Huh. Yeah, because they play like Idol Launch. I'm just going to prevent this. So they gain three. Thalia resolves. Play Feeder. Play Seer. Probably going to start going big on my, on my carrion feeder. We don't really need a second feeder or a second seer. So just get in with those. So we got to close the door here, you know. I mean, crack is good. Yeah. Skull crack is great. They only have one card. Oh, no, no, I, I misclaimed him on my land. That's so bad. Oh. So bad. Well, there's Eidolon. That's what I was scared of. So, okay. So I like our play there. And now we can Relic Warder it, which is great. I think we're actually just going to gonna do, do, do the stack trick with the Relic Warder and just get rid of it permanently. Obviously going to three is not ideal, but all right, and then we'll sack it to the thing. God, not playing that god. The shrine is terrible. Terrible. We could have could have got travel over turn too, you know. Stuff. Stuff.
Ooh, that's a good one. Want to attack with Thalia? Because I get to play a second Goblin Guide and attack, you know? I mean, maybe, maybe I should have, I don't know. Now what? Opponent. A spicy piece there. So they're at nine, they block carrion feeder, take two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah, they're dead. I don't, I guess they have like path exile to not die, but they're blocking the seer. So they're saying they have path to exile because no other card has them live. So I think we, all right, sure, whatever. Woo. Close first match though, pretty wild one. Uh, deck performed pretty well, honestly. Yeah, I was playing on Spark Elemental. All right, so uh, one and out. Yeah, deck seems to have a good bird matchup, definitely. A lot of great blockers, a lot of incidental life gain. Um, Return to the Ranks is a powerful card. It's it's weird how different it is in Rally. It's so much more fair than Rally is. But Rally is just like, boom, you win. But like, you can't small ball. A rally, really, because all the cards go away, obviously. So that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Change brought to you by Call West Apparel. Join the pile drivers today with my new shirt. Not that new. They also have a new, uh, the new Bolt U shirts. Bolt U, check those out. Super comfortable. They are really, really comfortable. Awesome shirts. Promo code Jim ten ten percent off your order. Call West Apparel dot shop. Check them out. And of course, bcwsupplies.com. Number one source for your game supply needs. Uh, get your sleeves, the Elite 2 deck card sleeves, your deck boxes, your binders, your uh, card sorting trays. It's all on there. BCWsupplies.com, promo code Jim10. Check it out. Promo code Jim10. BCWsupplies.com. Let's go. Round two. Luris, I choose you. No companions anywhere. All right. Um... Looks sort of like a standard deck, but we're on the draw, our opponent mulligan to six. I guess we're gonna keep. It's not great, but. Swamp. Swamp Astrolabe. Huh. Interesting. It's a blue deck with a really bad hand, maybe? What's up, Heat Flesh? Good morning. Where are you from, Heat Flesh? We're in my upkeep. We draw Swamp. Works for me. Carrion Feeder, your turn. Yeah, I mean, Scavenging Goose is good against us, but I imagine we would grind pretty well against Jund, you know? And lo and behold, they're playing Rain Six. That kind of sucks, actually, because he should kill my carrying feeder here. But. Yeah. Right. Right. Rain Six. That's a real, uh. Real problem. Alright. I mean. Just gotta draw a return to the ranks, I guess, and just not have them have, have scavenging use. Probably 2020 mana base, you All right, well, didn't see that one coming. Um, should play at Celebrant first. 
I guess. Oops. Just thinking more Jund than uh, Blue stuff, but obviously they cast Seer Bridges, but an island, so. Yeah, they're just, playing, they're just playing Modern Horizon Sealed, basically. You know? Not a great start for us, but sure. Best sealed set for raw power. Yeah. Pretty high power level there. I mean, are they going to like Cryptic Command me or something? What, they have six cards in hand. Mana Leak? Okay. I mean, this doesn't seem very fun. Like, Ren and Six is really good against us. Um, they can counter my my rallies and stuff. They have another Ice Fang. I'm, I'm attacking. Just say go. Ghost Quarter, too. This is the most ambitious mana base of all time. We have two more basics. They want to try and, like, Ghost Quarter lock us with Ren 6, so that's totally fine. Um... Okay. There are games you don't draw Astrolabe, you know? Alright, well, they have one mana available. Oh my god. And unfortunately, we need to draw some spells. We only have like 19 lands in our deck. Uh, and we just have a bunch of lands. We could like... We could priest away their Ice Fang. Oh, I have Luris. Holy crap, I forgot. Yeah. Duh. I'm an idiot. I could just cast Luris, too. Might be bad, though. Because I wouldn't get value off of it. Huh. Yeah, I think we just put it in our hand, San Sego. I don't like any of our attacks. I don't think activating Priest is really good right now. I'll just put Lurus in our hand and hope they have like a discard spell or something. They have so many cards in their hand. Pretty weird, uh, weird game so far. Like, they're trying to, like, Ghost Quarter lock us, but they're just, like, wastelanding themselves every turn. That was a good draw. That was a really good draw. Alright, supplier me up. Resolves, too. Wow. Uh, we hit Blood Artist, Witness, Priest. We definitely want Lurus to resolve, obviously. Like, I don't know if we're scared of Cryptic Command, because... Having a 
a Ren and Six and a Forest and a Swamp it means they're probably not playing Sanctuary and therefore probably not playing Cryptic. Um, like, we can pay for Mana Leak, which is pretty cool. Just cast it, I guess. See what they do. Nope, they have Cryptic. Unbelievable. Counter draw. Alright. Yeah, obviously we were playing around Mana Lake or Reman there because we were able to play able to play through both. Draw a card, makes you black. <sighs> Infuriating. All right, attack right in six. I mean, unfortunately, we've just drawn like a bajillion lands this game. We're playing 19 lands in our deck. We've drawn seven, and it's turn seven, which is like pretty hard to beat. Realistically, or pretty hard to, to 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 win a game with. Like maybe we didn't need to cast didn't need to cast Luris there. Maybe the cryptic was more obvious than it seemed. Uh, okay. Can we just draw uh, a rally rally the ancestors or whatever, or the return to ranks? That'd be awesome. Let's do that. Let's go. Return the ranks off the top, please. Boom, shakalaka. Just like that. Just like that. Yeah, fifth force negation too? Oh, whatever. It's for seven. One, two, three, four, five. Can they make this any harder to see? Um, artist, Seer, yeah. They probably have Force too, I mean, whatever. Why not, you know? JK, LOL, you're dead. Uh, yeah, all right. Sucks to be you. <laughs> I have a target of player. Chicken or oh no, I'm good, thank you. Easy game, easy game. You're dead. Yeah. Not gonna lie, beating uh, every good card printed in the last year and a half with uh, Carrion Feeder and Cruel Celebrant does feel pretty good. Game. Blouses. Bloodhars targets? Yeah, Unsettled Mariner. Take that. Doom Traveler all day, every day. All right, so, just gotta beat their random pile of crap. Um. I guess we'll shave like. I guess you want Relic Warder? I don't know what they're gonna have, honestly. I mean, they can't play. They didn't show us white, so they're probably not playing Rest in Peace. I'm not playing Leyline. Um, let me think for a second here.
It's possible we just don't board. Like, they may have explosives, sure. I mean, they definitely have Euros. So they can't have any, like, global graveyard hate or, like, cage or anything. Can we just stamp Pat? You like, maybe bring in Thoughtseize. Um, could also maybe cut some of our one toughness creatures to play our six a little bit. We could shave, like, like a Seer, a Blood Artist, and... I want Thalia against their Serum Visions deck. Could have Nile Spell Bomb, sure. Kaya's Guile? I mean, that card's definitely not good enough. I think the Thought Seizes. I'm kind of Blood Artist. May just small ball them a little. I don't think we can rely on, like, a big combo finish, so. The deck that had Island, 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 Forest, Swamp, that is it angered the gods me? Bring it on. Bring it on, you know? They can just, like, not draw Astrolay. They're pretty cool. They're on the play. Luris, I choose you. Yeah, I heard their temples in, in M21. Don't like it. I think that uh, Fastland should be evergreen in every core set, but... Whatever. Not gonna listen to me, I guess. Alright, so Pond and Mulligan's a six. We're gonna join them, obviously. That is much better. We're gonna keep this and I think ship Thalia. The deck that won the challenge? Uh, what, what deck won the challenge? What challenge? I don't know what you're talking about. TSP Gendrick. No idea. Spawns on six, war on six. They have an Astrolabe, probably, always, every time. You can look at that close, it's fun. Serum Visions, bottom, bottom. Love to see it. No Astrolabe this time. Let's see what they're working with. Their hand is a Veil of Summer, Ice Fang Coddle, Force of Negation. Alright, I mean, I don't think we're ever Veil of Summering them, honest, or that, that, that's how it's ever going to matter. Let's take the Ice Fang. They have Mystic Sanctuary Triome, also. That's a weird hand. Uh, sure. It's a deck, I don't know. Kaya's Guile. Triome. Alright. So they have Bale of Summer, Force Negation, Mystic Sanctuary card. We're about to Thalia them, which seems pretty good. Um so I got a swamp. Kind of doubt they have Blood Moon, but whatever. That is true, I guess. Veil does stop Blood Artist. But we already we boarded two Blood Artists out anyway. So. Alright, nice mana base opponent. Doomed Traveler. Doom. 
I mean, don't, you know, I don't even know. You can't, like, dead of winter. You know, he snow lands in blood. There's a mountain. Yeah, no, no astrolabe is a good day for us. All right, so Priest also targets, so i uh, got to watch out for Veil of Summer. Favorite archetype? Um, I obviously like control decks, like goblins. I like decks that draw a lot of cards and play a lot of lands. Um, I like synergy decks. My range, uh, my range is pretty wide, honestly. I tend to like decks that have a purpose. You know, they have a goal in mind. That's why I don't like mid-range decks. Uh, interesting. All right, three sack for three. We'll play Celebrant and probably just say go. Can't play Celebrant and activate Priest and they can just fail and draw cards, so. Tron draws a lot of cards and draw me. And all Tron does is make land drops and draw cards. I've seen a few M21 cards, yes. Alright, forest, sure. Four cards in hand. Veil of Summer, Force of Negation, card, card. We could Priest here, sacrificing the Traveler and the Thalia. Draw a card, uh, make them lose two, and make a token, and make them lose two more, and then just play Thalia again next turn. I guess they could just like Veil of Summer, so they would pay one green to kill my two creatures. Yeah, actually, that's kind of bad, actually. Yeah, I should have just tagged with the priest. That was dumb. It's not much purpose in leading 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 priest up. And it's a casual forest, mountain, mystic sanctuary, triome, breeding pool mana base, you know. Nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, I don't like this. We're kind of just killing them. I don't want to play anything else. I think I want to just put Lurus in my hand as I go. Blue green in the pool. Blue, blue green. Not quite Oko. Alright, so they have Euro. They go to they go to ten. Play Stomping Ground? That is a lot of non-islands. What is this deck? Another return the ranks. Okay. I mean. I think I just... I think we're going to leave the Priest back and play Traveler. I played Impact in an open once. I hated it. It's like not my kind of deck.
Yes, they go. They're still under Thalia, too. It's like pr no way they have Anger of the Gods. There's no freaking way. This is unbelievable. <sighs> okay. How do they ever cast a spell? Like, all right, so we'll sacrifice the the Traveler and the Celebrant. So yeah, if I target them and they Veil of Summer, um, I don't draw and they don't lose. Well, they're not, they're not lose life anyway, but so I won't draw a card. Yeah, I get to hurt myself too. We're gonna sacrifice the Celebrant and a Traveler. That's unreal. Anger of the Gods. So we sacrifice the Traveler. They allowed the Priest to resolve too. It's interesting. I mean, Veiling to not lose two life is pretty sweet, you know? All right, um, so this little Force Negation. We have Thalia, there are two, four cards in hand. Yeah, I screwed up on the on the sacrifice. Okay. Um leak or something they're almost on euro too like just like actually just disgusting I mean they didn't play a single mountain in game one I kind of doubt they're playing scape shifts Playing sanctuary and swamp and forest. All right. I don't have a sack outlet either. Cloithus? What is this pile of cards? They had a basic swamp in game one, yes. Yeah, I mean, we might have punted the game by missing that damage, I agree. Alright, um... Like, they get to Euro next turn. Okay, 
cast this for one, targeting a celebrant. So we're gonna lose our graveyard anyway. This sucks. What a shitty game. They're like screwed up. They played Anger in their Salt Eye deck. Like. Alright, we got the force out of them. So they, they, they exile a cryptic command. Alright, so they exile that, go to three. Now we have basically no creatures left. This sucks. Alright, well, we threw this game away, fortunately. No, I was thinking of Arena. I want to. I want to attack. I want to attack. Attack both, both my creatures. Obviously, God, what are you doing, idiot? Obviously, I want to attack my creatures. So if they block one, then I get. I get back to return to the ranks. Oh man. Ugh. Let's go to the next game. I'm shame conceding. I'm. I'm mad now. All right. We'll play better in the next game. We threw it away. They somehow are playing Anger of the Gods in their Soul Die deck. Ugh. Vomit. And if they're playing Anger and Bolt, then we want these Forge Tenders. So. Honestly, Priest seems pretty bad. So that's bringing like Forge Tender. And they have Ren in six, too. So they're more like Teamer. They just happen to draw a random swamp in game one and never cast a red card. Um, so Force Negation in deck two. It's kind of weird. Let's like shave one of these. Yeah, like it's if you if you just showed me the cards they were playing and asked if, I, if asked they were playing Yorian, I would snap yes. It's like a Yorian deck with no Yorian, you know. Like usually when you're playing eighty cards, you have to play like a wild, you know, kind of a wild pile of crap. But all right, uh, we're gonna keep. I think it's fine. I think we're gonna open on Thoughtseize. Put them all against the six. Good. Good. Astrolabe Assassin's Trophy. Snapcaster Euro. Breeding Pool Mystic Sanctuary. Uh, okay. So, like, I guess let's take the Astrolabe. And they can't even cast it, but, like, whatever. <laughs> Trophy is definitely bad against us. Totally agree. Snap doesn't do much either. Can we can we use our opponent's hand for a hand of the week? Yeah, right. What card did they bottom? You know, this deck cast anger of the gods against us last game.
Draw card per turn. Just want to draw my card. Please let me draw my card. I mean, with Supplier and Seer here, we could definitely have a pretty fast turn to the ranks. I mean, the card they bought him was probably just like totally uncastable, you know? Carrion Feeder, it's pretty good. Fortune or Seer, it's pretty good too. Um, we draw a land next turn, we can tee up a pretty good uh, early return to the ranks, maybe. We'll see. Breeding Pool, tapped, sure. Alrighty then. Uh, yeah. So we just uh, smash. Place here. I'm just gonna sack the Doom Traveler immediately. Our clock's fine, don't worry about it. You got plenty of time. I think we just sack the Traveler for an extra point. Alright, I mean, your hand is Assassin's Trophy, Snapcaster Mage, Euro, and three new cards. What do you got, opponent? Nothing. Actual nothing. All right, draw a step, return in the ranks. All right, we're, we're just gonna return right now. Let's sack this supplier. <laughs> if they play Knight of Souls Betrayal, they get the, uh, they get the prize. Thalia, too. Alright, let's target uh, Celebrant, Thalia. Oh my god, it's not going to work. Forge Gender, Traveler, Thalia, Celebrant. They have Force Negation, it's annoying, but whatever. We have more copies, so. Could have hedged by, like, I guess getting back one less thing. Didn't need to. All right, you're up. GLHF. It's a really powerful effect reach for this guy. All right, well, that's the game. That's good. Anger of the Gods opponent goes down in a blaze of their own mana base hubris with... Assassin's Trophy in their hand. I, I, I could only imagine what their hand was at the end of that game. Anger of the Gods, Assassin's Trophy, Ren and Six, Phyrexian Obliterator. Like, only imagine. Only imagine. 2 0 so far. 2 0. Yeah, one Astrolabe definitely because they didn't have any Snowlands. It's great. It's great. One Cruel Ultimatum, one Spired Ultimatum, one Immersion Ultimatum. One progenitus, for sure, for sure. 2-0 so far. 
playing Orzov, Luris, Aristocrats. If you're just tuning in, welcome to the stream. It is karma. They lost to their man in game three. I agree. I agree. Uh, Leving ended up going 3 2. Uh, we lost to uh, Grixis Control deck in the last round. And we lost to a main deck Tormod's Crypt Euro deck. That was sweet, though. So, the list that I found was playing Return and not Rally. This is mostly the list I found online and what did well in some you know random league or whatever. Um, Return to the Ranks is a more fair card, uh, whereas Rally is a more combo card. Um, when you play Rally, you got to win that turn. As you saw in that game, we're able to just return for value. Uh, so, just depends on I, I, I want to play with that if it's more of a combo deck or more of like a value deck that can also combo. So. When it was awesome, we had tons of turn three kills. It'll be up on YouTube if you missed it. Look for it on YouTube. Luris, I choose you. A lot of one-landers, a lot of one-landers. Right, we're on the play, we got a mulligan sand. Uh, sounds great. Let's keep this. Um, I think I want to ship the witness. I want to have mana for Return to the Ranks, and we have a Sack Outlet and a Supplier. I guess Witness is also mana for Return to the Ranks. You know what? Yeah, whatever. We'll just screw it. Let's ship a land. I hate flooding. New Companion Rule. I mean, Loris is obviously worse in this deck than it was in, you know, before the Companion Rule changed, but we've cast Loris once or twice. I do like these kind of decks that can, or value decks that can combo also. All right, Bloodstain Mire Sack. If they have a, uh, a thought seize here for my return to the ranks, our hand gets worse. Our hand does get worse. Uh oh. Huh? Eh? Ooh. Okay. Um, just gotta keep this return to the rank safe in our hand, please. All right, we're gonna go creature, creature here. Supplier says a creature and reveals a return to the ranks. Don't like that. Don't like letting them know what's up. You know. Tarmogoyf. Okay. So. Thalia? Thalia's not bad. Um, I'm pretty happy playing Thalia here. They had Renesex that would have played it for sure. And now you can just like block with Supplier, put more cards in the graveyard, and cast Return. Oh, we do need to draw a land, I guess, for Return. Because Thalia just tax it. Kroxa? All right, that's irritating, but sure. Land, supplier. So we can cast return for two, which like isn't really good enough, but every turn we wait, we risk getting this thing discarded to a Liliana, a Croxa, a discard spell, etc. So like, we could just... Hey, well, let's, let's start with Suppliering, obviously. We'll just see what's up. Alright, that's actually really good. So let's, let's cast it and get back Priest and Celebrant. Um, if we wait, and they play Liliana, Croxa, Inquisition, Thoughtseize, any of those, we lose Return to the Ranks. And that's, that's not acceptable. So, let's get back Celebrant and Priest... I guess there's no sack outlet, but so if they are they're able to like bolt my priest here, I have no way to sack stuff for value. But we have a lot of crap in play right now with the celebrant, which is pretty good. So yeah, priest is good, but they, they obviously can probably kill it. So they didn't play a land last turn, they save all spells in their hand. So no push, no bolt. Not cool, but sure. It's a 
an interesting block. I think giving me a flyer is much worse than putting cards in my graveyard, but sure. I go to 11, put Lurus in our hand. Trying to chip away here. See if we can chip shot him to death. Alright, they drew a land. It's not great. And they're saying go. That's pretty good. Take four? Love to see it. Love to see it. End step. Kill Thalia. Take two, sure. Go to six? This is ambitious. Look at this. I agree blocking token is better, but I ain't them. Like, what's their plan here? Like, the, I guess like forest scavenging use might do it, but why Cruel Celebrant over Zillipore Cutthroat? Why would you want Cutthroat over Celebrant? I mean, having two top this is a pretty is a pretty big deal. Because uh, cards like Ren and Six are really good against us. They're at five, attack with everything, they block this and this, take oh, two. I think they're just dead. Um Attack with everything, they block celebrant, celebrant, they take two combat damage and four non combat damage. And they have to block or they die, and they're at five. Works for me. Bing, 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 bing. Cool, cool. So that was the game where return was much better than rally because we couldn't have rallied for value like that. So, so what do we want? Uh, probably push. Just push kills. Uh, push kills. Scavenging use. Um, Forge tender is interesting. It counters bolt. <clears throat> it's really it though. Probably want to shave a couple one toughness creatures because of a uh, Ren Six. You can shave like maybe a Seer and like a Blood Artist. Um, they didn't block at all. They would go to yeah. You're right. They could have just not blocked. I don't know if they win the if they win that game, but. It's fine. Seems like a, a decent enough matchup. I mean, Return of the Ranks is pretty important. If they're able to discard that, it kind of sucks, but... I doubt they have, like, Anger of the Gods or something like that. Um, so... Eh, it's not great, but it's not worth mulliganing. We're going to keep. Doom. Tell them about the time you face Doom. Well, they don't block, eat anything with ooze, end up at one life. They get to untap with ooze, so they're probably not winning that game. God damn it. I hate Ren 6. It's pretty bold. Why am I so much taller in real life? Why are you so much shorter in real life? Hmm. Hmm.
Right on six is should start at two. Loyalty. Don't at me. All right, so can't play Thalia. I guess I would just chuck the Ren and six to the Thalia, which isn't even that bad. But I think I would like to play Priest here and force him to kill it. I am six feet tall. But I do I do slouch sometimes. <sighs> Plus for nothing. Tapped Blood Crypt. Weird game so far. Um, this deck is designed to beat John Ruffle. I don't know, it's working. Alright, so... I'm just going to play Supplier and play another Priest. Force an answer. A damnation. Uh, well, now I probably can't win. Uh, sure, I guess. Their hand is Ashiok Bolt. They literally have everything. They have a way to exile my graveyard, a removal spell, and a scab shoes. <laughs> All right, we're probably not winning this game, folks. Sorry to uh, sorry to disappoint everyone. The good news is that um, they haven't they have a fetch land yet. Oh, they milled themselves. That's smart. Why do they plus and then mill themselves? That's dumb. <laughs> Why are you like this? Now they can get back a land with their red and six. I guess it's not even that good. Just a freaking black leaf glyphs. Who cares? Okay. Another red and six? Yeah. This is funny, actually. They might not Ashiok me. They're going to Surgical Extraction, too? Ah, crap. I didn't... I, I, I had F6. I don't want to see my deck. Eh, whatever. I would I would have probably scooped that if, uh, if I had an F6. Not to show them my deck, but whatever. Sure, fine. You got it. Surgical Scavenging Ooze, Ashiok. No big deal. No big deal. Damnation. It's fine. Then I board a Blood Artist out anyway. I did. I did. Doctor, resub. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Why would they do that? I guess they have Crocs, though, it doesn't matter. Can't beat Crocs, though. Alright, that's fine. Damnation.
Hello. Crocs are just blowing everything up. All right, we should go to the next game, whatever. They got us. They got us good. They surgicaled us. They oozed us. They damnationed us. They ashiocked us. They got us. They got us good. It's fine, you know? I know when I'm beat. I know when I'm beat. It's fine. Maybe we want Thoughtseize against them. I don't think so, though, because they're a Thoughtseize deck, too. Yeah, whatever. We'll just beat them. We'll just beat them. Appreciate y'all staying with me here. Sorry, the uh, stream hiccup there for a second. Hope I didn't lose all my viewers. Med says, hey everyone, I'm gonna try goblins at a small pioneer tournament. What build do I suggest? In pioneer? You can look at my old Bog Monday videos. I don't know, honestly. I mean, I haven't played pioneer in a while and they keep changing things. So I, I don't really know, honestly. Um, I'm really not sure. Don't have good advice for you. Now chat's not working. Nothing ever works here on the stream. Nothing ever works. Sideboards and bobs. The problem is it just dies to Renin Six. So like, doesn't really help us. Uh, this is this is like the worst kind of hand in that. It's, we probably can't mulligan, but it just also kind of sucks. Having Luris helps, though. This is definitely a decent Luris hand, though, so we'll keep. Phyrexian Arena in sideboard? That turns off Luris, though. Turns off Luris. Doesn't take much, though, to get me to put a Phyrexian Arena in anything, because I love Phyrexian Arena, so. Opponent keeps seven. Um... Bitter Blossom? It's an interesting one. Bzzz, resub. Month number two, most important month. Thanks so much. Uh, no, companions are unbelievably worse. They're very, very fringe playable. Now, the question here. Ooh, that is really good. Uh. Okay, never mind. Worship Athalia. The question was, we can scour them. We can either we can either sacrifice it and guarantee a thought seize, or just like play as a creature. Uh, but I'm playing Thalia now because Thalia's insane. So Thalia stops turn two, Ren and six. Stops a lot of stuff. Dark Avon just dies to Ren and six. Tarmo Goif. I think we're going to go for the Thoughtseize. We'll sack the Sculler. It does make Tarmo Goif bigger, but they have six cards in their hand. They're going to be able to kill, to kill the Sculler anyway. So we'll play Sculler and do this. Sacrifice with the trigger of a stack to empty the card forever. Scribe bottom. Their hand is stacked. Oh my god. Ashiok and Cloithus and Damnation and Double Croxa. Probably just Cloithus. It's the card they can cast next turn. They can't currently cast Ashiok or Damnation. Ashiok's not even that good right now, so... Feels bad, but sure. 
It's also a Thalia in play, too, so... Problem is, now we're just, like, not getting through this Glaive ever, basically. Oh, I drew a Swamp. Nope, can't get Ashiok. Got a Thalia in play. Sorry. Yeah. I mean, Damnation's, like, pretty messed up. I'm, like, not sure if we can realistically beat Damnation. Um, well, we can't keep, we can't keep cards in the hand for Croxus, so... And scavenging is. Sure. Alright, so opponent's a real hater. Like a real, like, grade A hater. Um, I guess I could just, like, never draw land for damnation, right? It's probably our out, honestly. And not always a lance, it's a it's a Peter land too. Oh my god. And they basically have to wrath anyway. Um, and if they do wrath, we do we do get a lot of, a lot of the thing is we return to the ranks only gets back two creatures anyway or three I guess with the hunter witness. If Ashiok crocs a damnation. I block with Thalia and sacrifice it. Uh, little bottom doom traveler. So sack priest, bottom, sack, blood artist, top, sack, doesn't matter. All right, sure. Okay, uh, well, we did it. We can now get back three things. And they have Croxa Ashiok. So get back Priest, Blood Artist, Hunted Witness. They have Croxa Ashiok, and that's it. Could we have turned the tide here? Could we have turned the tide? Well, we weren't in a good spot until we topped like return. Like obviously we were in a terrible spot. Uh, this is fine. 
Now they get to Ashiok, and we just attack and kill it, I guess. Which is fine. It's pretty good. Pretty good draw by them. Spike the Lightning Bolt. I don't know why they didn't mill themselves, because they have Croxa, but can't even cast Croxa yet, so... We draw Marsh Flats. So we don't want to put the Lurus in our hand, because they have Croxa in their hand. Um, I guess we draw off clearing. I can't search with Ashiok, so. I guess I could hold the lamp, but I don't, I don't have anything in the graveyard anyway, so like. Um, what's up, Wes? Pretty good. Pretty good. They draw a red source, they can Croxa, uh, but... Big bricks, big bricks, big bricks. Targeting me, sure. This will force a removal spell, probably. They're gonna kill the Blood Artist? Sure. Definitely want Ashiok to actually die. I kinda doubt that they have another kill spell. Actually, yeah, whatever, this is fine. They wanna burn a kill spell my Haunted Witness, so be it. Alrighty. Alright, well, now they have Croxa. Um, but they're at nine. And we are working our way through it here. Ooh, only one mountain in their deck, too? Now they're at seven. All right, so we go to 14, they're at seven. We have a pretty good board. Um, we can just kind of chump block their life total away for a little bit. Big draw step here, what's it gonna be? That is a pretty big draw step. And does that mean we can smash? They block Sculler, take two, three, four. I'm giving them a second Crocs is worthless anyway, sure, let's go. Just do it before they draw scavenging use. Seventeen to three. You know what this deck needs? Gall clamp. That's this deck needs. Yes. Damnation would also be good right now, but that is that is pretty funny. Haze of Rage. That's a cool card. Tower Striker, yeah, every deck is Tower Striker. 
Skull Clamp. Good cards. Well, we are 2-0, oh, about to be 3-0 oh, probably, so... A little Clampy action. Do I think Urza decks have a chance? Why wouldn't they? We lost to an Urza deck earlier. What's up, Finn? Cabal Therapy would also be nice. Oh, that new card, too. That's right. It's one block instant, sack draw two. That card's pretty freaking good. Give him the clamps. Opponent is trying to figure out how to wriggle their way out of this one with their overpowered mythic in play and our crappy draft commons. Ren 6. Plus for nothing? Okay. Croxa? Okay. Our opponent looks pretty dead here. Just gonna softball that one up for a little, uh, little shebang a bang. Looks pretty dead. Tag with everything. Buy pack and storm. I know, right? Three and oh. Three and oh. All the hate cards in the world and. A shitty router. Couldn't stop us. 3-0. Let's go. Let's do this. Who's pumped? Need a little hype in chat right now for this, uh, this scrappy little pile of uh, mostly garbage cards. Standard rejects and bulk rares. Die is good. But let's go. Let's go. And yeah, we're going to do the, uh, the pauper cube next as well. Have I ever had someone rage AFK while I was on stream? I'm sure. I've been streaming for, what, five years now? I'm sure at some point someone's done that. I don't remember. It's the same as being storm comboed. You should read Shakespeare or something like that, you know? Shill some stuff. Peasant. Sorry, peasant. Yeah, Cabal Therapist sucks. When I saw that card, I thought it was the coolest card ever. You just can't use it, though. You can't play it turn one. It doesn't do anything. You can't play it on turn two because you miss the ability to use it that turn. And then on turn three, it just sucks. So the origin of uh, the nine stars, prop well, that person like cursed me out. Um, probably, yeah. I think that they, they probably cursed me out in the disco. I think they might have actually done the thing where like sometimes the people are really scumbags. They'll AFK and it's like, I think it's like 10 minutes till they time out. They'll come back in nine minutes and hit okay hoping you went to, like, make lunch something and try and, like, get you. It's funny. All right, 3-0, let's go. Scrap, scrap, scrapping away here. Gigantha. So it's got to be Tron, right? Um... I think it's fine. Home against a six. We're going to keep. They go to five. It's 100% drawn. 100%. Humans playing Gigant is ridiculous because, like, you're just never going to spend an eight mana for a five five. So it's not worth the sideboard slot and the sideboard double colored cards. All right, so our scholars got some serious work to do here. They kept six, which means their hand's probably fine. I like playing Tron. I'm a Tron player. I like it. Hers is mine. All right. All right. Their hand seems pretty functional. Tide Owl Sculler, help me out. Die is good here, too. Why does everyone always stop my upkeep? I want to know how much of my life has been wasted with my opponents stopping in my upkeep tapped out on Magic Online. It's got to be like five days, right? Maybe longer. 
give me how often I stream. It's got to be even longer than that, right? Maybe it's like like a month. Do you think over or under on a month, how much of my life has been wasted by my opponent stopping in my upkeep tapped out? Over or under one month. Priest ain't bad, but we have the scholar here. Their hand is. <laughs> oh, it's it's Karn the Great Creator. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought it was oh, the other Karn. Oh, they had two. I thought they had Tron, two seven mana cards. Uh, all right. Well, they have Tron. Um, and they have two of the same card. And it's, I thought it was good card. Yeah. It's not as not nearly as bad, but still not great. All right, yeah, we'll just take a Karn, I guess. Don't mind taking Scrying. All right, I mean, so they play Karn and get like, I mean, Snaring Bridge like isn't even good against us. <clears throat> they still have multiple cards in their hand too, so. Alright, they're going fishing. What are they getting? Trinisphere? Alright. I mean, so they're just throwing away their car and getting Trinisphere? It's not really that bad. <clears throat> Like, they're scrying Urza's mine. Ugin. Gigantha Awkward vs. Priest. Why? Get another tower? That's really weird. It means they. No, okay, so map. Alright. So their hand is forest, or is this mine? Card. We don't, card we don't know about. And we have six mana if we want it with Priest of Forgotten Gods. So we get like Blood Artist, Sack, Attack, Sack, Blood Artist, Carry and Feeder, Cast, Carry and Feeder. We're just like building up to a return to the ranks and trying to draw some cards and just like get a lethal return to the ranks available. I feel like that's where we're probably at. Interesting game. Still at 19, too. Hmm. 
Well, yeah, I mean, Return of the Ranks with X... Of, yeah, you can't cast this card without it being around Trinisphere, because X will be one or more, so... Alright, so we're going to play a 3-mana Blood Artist. We're going to Priest them. So I can carry and Feeder and Blood Artist. And draw another priest. Um, so, like playing priest or carrion feeder here feels mostly the same. It's probably just carrion feeder, I guess. There's your forest. There's eight mana. And there's Ugin. Alright, well, now we're dead. Uh, if we draw... I don't even know what we could draw, honestly. It's probably a matchup where... Uh, where Rally is better than Return to the Ranks. We can get back multiple creatures, but like it doesn't do anything at 12, so. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we can get back, like, Sculler, Artist, Carrion Feeder, and then they would just minus Ugin again. I would drain them for th two again, and they would just cast Karn and we would just lose. Yeah, all right, whatever. All right, kind of shitty, but whatever. Doesn't seem like a great matchup for us. Um, obviously, Ugin's really good. Guess we're going to want Thoughtseize and Relic Warder. And we're going to want to cut... I mean, Priest is pretty bad against them, it just like, doesn't really do anything. And maybe we cut, like... Die is good. We could have Graveyard Hate, too. Could have Return to the Ranks. I think we're, we need to, like, basically kill them. I don't know if we can rely on Return to the Ranks to win the game. Yeah, we got some of the dorks, too, I guess. Like, the, the Hunted Witnesses or whatever. Seems like a hard matchup. Can't wait to play against Ugin Standard, yeah. Pretty surprising reprint, honestly. Thoughtseize, Thalia, Sculler. Alright, this is not like a great hand, but like as far as beatdown curves go, this is pretty ideal. So. Thalia on the play is very good against them, especially if their hand's not made, and a Scholar will help their hand not be made, so will Thoughtseize, so it's very hard for them to keep cycling stars and stuff when I have a Thalia. Up, oh, it's my upkeep again. You can feel my life just ticking away. Just feel the minutes just ticking down. Their hand is snow covered forest, cascading cataracts, all is dust, worm coil, chromatic sphere. Pretty terrible hand. I do not think keeping this hand was correct. Um, they are very far from assembling Tron or doing anything meaningful. Um, that being said, I, I think it's just Sphere. 
Like, their hand is just that bad. Cataracts means they're playing Golos, just like not very good. Alright, so. There should go Mine, Tower, Worm Coil. We can beat Worm Coil easily. We have Sack Outlets, we have other ways to win, like. Worm Coil is the least of our worries. Thalia says, you must play one more for your spells. There's a forest. Yeah, this hand is atrocious. You ever feel like your life is just fading away? Alright, here we go. Like, add up those little, like, five second intervals, you know? Five seconds here, 20 seconds there. Adds up. Adds up. Sculler says, Worm Coil, Worm Coil, Karn Liberated, All is Dust. Take All is Dust. So we got the other hand. Their hand is atrocious. Uh, they are so far from doing anything meaningful. We're probably just going to kill them on the beats. Play Cascading Cataract, sure. Gigantha's in hand, sure. Why did you have uh, 50 packs of Urza Saga, Taro? When you're bored, you buy packs of old sets. Sweet. I mean, now Oblivion Stone's worse for them with Celebrant in play, and they're at 13, so. How much does a pack of Urza Saga cost on Magic Online? If you don't mind me asking. A pawn should have never kept their hand. Ever. Completely unplayable. You go down to four or three with Tron on the on the regular. Like just an unbelievably bad keep from our opponent. And once again, it's our upkeep. Alright. Thoughts see. Let's see let's see how, how, how much worse their hand's gotten. Alright, Thalia. Now their hand is Golos, Gigantha, Karn, Thought Not Seer. That's castable. Take the Thought Not Seer. Thought Not Seer actually been pretty good. It's a random 4 4. I'm not sure why they, board, why they boarded that card in, but. Our hand has also not been great. I mean, no, you know, a mild bit of disruption, but not really doing much. Um, let's just do that again. They can just keep a terrible hand, and then we'll just kill them with our two twos. I like that. Matchup seems pretty bad otherwise, so we'll just try and do that again. Luris. Uh, yeah, we can do this. Bottom ball against six. One drops, thought sees, relic water is pretty cool. Opponent keeps six again. Power plant. Go. That's scary. No map, star, or sphere, and power plant. That's terrifying. Is 
Does it make a play on turn two that really scares me? Um, let me just play Seer. This usually means they have natural Tron. You usually, you usually don't keep a hand without a one drop um, on six cards unless you have, unless you have natural Tron. And they don't have natural Tron, so. All right, that's really weird. Uh, I mean, maybe we should have thought seized. Playing a forest is not what we're doing, I'm sure. Because we can't actually interact with the, the, uh, the lands themselves. Carrying fear, all right. Let's take a look. Their hand is Tron, Karn, Double Worm Coil. All right, we're probably in trouble. I guess Relic Warder can exile one of the Worm Coils. Um, yeah, we're taking Karn. We got some work to do this game, but we can do it. Sure. I don't like that. Star, sure. Yeah, set up six. Let's go. All right. So, hand still mine worm coil. Worm coil. We'll be facing that a worm coil next turn. Now, how dirty do we want to get with this carrion feeder? I think we just probably want to slam and ship the Doom Traveler. All right, so take four. 13. Next turn, we're going to exile their worm coil and attack for plus four. So, three. So, we're doing, we're doing a lot next turn. We could definitely win this game. Tapping a forest for a green through star. That's not right. Play worm coil, you got it. I think we got him, folks. I think we might have him here. Untap. Yes, Warder is the old text. We can permanently exile the worm coil. Oh, that was sick. What a sick draw. Uh, okay. So we're gonna relic Warder and sack it. That's 12. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, hmm, we thought they used to take the other worm coil, they could just like play something else, I almost think playing supplier is just better, because it puts in an extra point of damage over the next two turns. This is an interesting spot. This is a very interesting spot. They have three cards in hand. We know one's a worm coil. We thought sees that. Let's play something else. So I think we just uh, we just do this and play supplier. Don't even care about the uh, care about it. Sack. Uh, 
exile that, counter there, gone forever. Mill three cards. Mill three cards. They're at eleven. Take six. Five. Mm. Not sure. Not sure. Why well, is a lot of noise? Because we're not in my new office yet. There's, there's an air conditioning unit in the hallway. There's no doors yet. It is what it is. They drew Karn. They have six mana available. What are they going to do? Maybe we should have thought seized. They have a relic? And a thought not seer. Okay. I mean, that's all pretty irrelevant. They can't even activate the relic. <laughs> okay, sure. If we draw any creature, they're dead. No, maybe not. God damn it. Um, so we attack with both of these. They have to block Thought Nuts here. They go to four. Yeah, we just gotta start there, so. I'm not gonna sack draw yet. We'll draw off Thought Nuts here first. Nah, we have nothing nothing comes back from the graveyard. Ooh, I didn't know Blood Arch was opponent's creatures also. I did not know that. Look at look at this. Oh come on. Alright, we need to draw any creature off the silent clearing and we win. Who's ready? Or return to the ranks, I guess. Big draw! Exile a card. They're good. Yeah, we know. Okay, let's go. Come on. Uh, yeah, that does it. Goodbye. Goodbye. As long as I don't sack the wrong creature. Take that bad matchup. Four and O. Oh. Four and O. Oh. Going for the trophy. I need some trophy hype, folks. I need to see chat blowing up. Alright? I need to see chat blowing up. Four and O. Oh. Could go all the way. Who's ready? Who's ready? Boss battle. Can't play any more than that because I'll get copyright for copyright dinged. But you get the idea. Play it in your head. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do.
Remember, folks, go to coolstuffinc.com um, later tonight when the stream is over. You're not going to want to miss this video, all right? I do a video article every Monday, a written article every Friday. And 37 land treasure hunt turbo land in historic. 37 lands. I mean, you want a lot of matches, too. Check it out, all right? Coolstuffinc.com. Check out my article at some point later, uh, later today. Let's go. Do, 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 do. All right, let's go. Winning, winning the die roll is a nice place to go to. Lurus, I choose you. Ugh, gross. All right, Mulligan. Come on. We played the Guile theme and everything, you know? Do, 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 do. Yeah, I don't think I'd like want Azusa. I think that uh, the other two cards are just better. Point Mulligan six also, that's good. Mulligan to five. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna keep this one, I guess. Uh Tilt. See the future? Don't know what that is. All right, opponent keeps six. We're gonna ship Thalia, and I think Viscera Seer. Even though Seer's castable at least. We need the white creature to cast Return to the Ranks. I want the Blood Artist, I want the Carrion Feeder. Yeah, all right. Definitely sucks. Not a great five, uh, five card hand here, but Land off the top, please. Historic? Historic's fine. I feel like I haven't played any one format super seriously lately because they're just, they're just, they just all keep changing over so many of them and there's no tournaments and just like, I don't know. Like, I was saying at the start of the stream, it's frustrating because like, so much of my content in the last few weeks has been totally invalidated. Like, my cool stuff video from yesterday was invalidated about, ugh, come on, about three hours after it came out. So we played against the Winona deck. I recorded it on Saturday and it was invalidated Monday afternoon. They keep banning cards and changing rules and banning more cards and it just like, just can't keep up, you know? All right, so Swamp, not the best draw, obviously. We need some white lands, but definitely not a good spot to be one, getting one for one to be mulligan to five, but we'll see. Baron more. All right, so it's Jund again. White source. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Could have put Lurus in hand there, but I don't know. I probably had thoughts these deck too. Might have been better than playing Traveler, honestly. Just like put Lurus in our hand. Oh, that card? I don't think that card's very good. Uh, Alright, I guess. Holy god, their hand is good. Oh, boy. Uh, why do they play Dark Confidant, not Ren and Six? Just get a land back. Seems really weird. Oh my god, this hand's this is this is a problem. Alright. I'm taking Ren and Six. Oh, I can't cast Ren. They have Swamp Swamp, right. Still, they're drawing two cards next turn. Um What a terrible hand for us.
All right. Obviously drawing two cards next turn, they're very likely to draw a land. They get a Bloodbraid Elf. They, they hit a Bloodbraid Elf for four. That's pretty awesome. So you're telling me there's a chance. All right. Okay. Huh. Why can't they say target opponent? Like, why would you ever target yourself, you know? They're at 11. And now we can return to the ranks two creatures. All right. I mean, that's really annoying, but sure. Just get back Skuller and Carrion Feeder. Alright, so hand is Liliana, Ooze, Ren and Six, Bloodbraid, Bloodbraid. Um I think now I cast cast I care Lair blah, 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 blah. No, we're still thinking Ren and Six. I don't I don't want to kill this blood artist, so. Alright. I mean We got another Bloodbraid elf here on this uh this Dark Confidant. I feel real good, real good about this game. Those catacombs so bad. Worst case scenario. All right, blood braid hits. Run and six. Oh my god. Well, that sucks. Pretty ideal. And they almost passed the turn. Um, do we just go big on this carrion feeder? One, make it a four, we'll just block with the bob, I guess. And we can't... Well, Doom Child Board's the flyer, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think we're going to try and uh, just go big here. Let's sack Sculler, Traveler, Artist, leaving us with a flying token and a 4-4 four, four Carrion Feeder. Like, giving them an extra Ren 6 doesn't matter at all, so... Well, no, we're keeping the flying token in place. They can't lay on us. Draw. Stitcher supplier. They only have two green sources for ooze, so. Well, I guess I can shoot the, the spirit. Yeah, that's that was duh. That doesn't actually matter, I don't think. It might just be in on on dark confident on killing them, so. Like, the feeder almost doesn't even matter that much. It's possible we should have sacked the feeder also for an extra point. I'm not sure, though. Six is not, you know, six is not four. There we go, go even go to four. All right. I guess six is four. 
I mean, now they're in a spot where, like, if we draw a land and we just go Lurus plus Blood Artist, they just die. So... I think we've put our... And then they kind of, like, have to play Scavengers. They only have one green. And we have two Blood Artists in our graveyard. I think we're in good shape here. Kill the Spirit. All right, sack the Spirit. Leona can plus, but like that doesn't actually do anything to affect the board. So that gives us a lot of draws to threaten their life total. Ugh, that was a sick draw. That was like the best possible draw because I could do that and play ooze. That is that's disgusting. All right, absolutely disgusting draw step for them. Wait, they're gonna play Tarmogoyf and not play, not play Scavenging Ooze. That's wild. All right, I mean, now we're drawing to any Blood Artist effect or any Rally or Return or whatever. Um, big money, big money, big money, big big. big, 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 big. All right, I guess Bloodbird off the top, please. That's all we got. Inquisition, go to three. Peterland. No blocks. I mean, now they can play Ooze, and they have three potential green up. Deal one to the Dark Confidant, sure. Yeah, I don't think we have any more outs anymore. They're not gonna play Scavenging Ooze? This person's a crazy person. All right, I mean, we draw any blood artifact and we win, or any um, any blood artifact or any return to the ranks. They're just dead. Not playing ooze is wild. I mean, they got a two here, but they can play. Now they can play ooze. So now we have to draw a blood artist effect. Exactly, we can't draw a uh, return to the ranks anymore. What? Is this scavenging ooze like not exist or something? Like they got a non-green source. Okay. Please don't mill like blood arst, blood arst, blood arst. Mill priest land land. They were clearings though, so. Schrodinger's ooze. Until opponent casts it, it both exists and does not exist. That's fantastic. I don't understand what they're doing. It's right here. I just don't get it. Please punish them. We please just punish them and draw a card. Please. 
please, any Blood Artist, any Return of the Ranks, could you please just do it? They're not even attacking us. Please, 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 please. 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 I'm going to do this. I'm going to leave the room when I draw the card. All right, so you're going to see it before I am. I have the wireless mouse in my hand. So I can't even... It, if I'm not here, we'll probably draw the right card. All right, let's do that. I'm going to draw it now. You ready? We did it! See? If I'm not in the room, then we win. <laughs> I mean, like... Really, uh... One of the most bizarre games of Magic I think I've ever seen played. Like, it just doesn't make any sense at all. I just don't. Like, the ooze is literally everything they could ever want right now. It turns off my graveyard stuff. It gains them life. It keeps them from dying. I just don't understand. And it's not like they were trying to end the game fast by playing it. So they, didn't even, they didn't even attack with them. I, I can't even find the words. I got nothing. I got nothing for you, my friends. Nothing for you. Wow. Okay, Schrodinger's Ooze. Let's board out a Blood Artist and a Viscera Seer to make ourselves a little less weak against Ren and Six. Bring in two pushes and call it a day. Wow. Just can't even fathom. Can't even fathom. Uh, oh man. On the draw? Is it weird I kind of want to keep? Put them all against the six. We're on the draw against a like one for one discard, you know, thought seize deck, you know? I guess we like if you don't make make a land drop or two, we'll just get run over. I'm gonna mulligan. With Luris, I think we were inclined to keep a little uh a little more like lands are a little more important. If we don't draw a land for two turns, we're just gonna get run over. Like they've got goifs and bobs and stuff, and like Brandon Six. We can't let those cards get out of hand. I'm gonna mulligan. I'm gonna mulligan. If they were like a pure control deck, I would probably keep this. But they're not. Like, they're like a Red and Six Liliana and Tarmogoyf Dark Confidant deck. So I'm going to mulligan. It's better. It's better. Wow, Marty, that's impressive. Now, nah, Lord of Humbles, I can't do channel points for deck techs. Uh, I'll be doing them forever. I'll find cool stuff for channel points. Don't worry. All right, opponent keeps six. We're going to ship a land here. Definitely a solid six-card hand. Absolutely hate Ren and Six. A card this good should not be so oppressive to one toughness creatures. Like <sighs> Well, it really shuts down like half our hand, unfortunately. Uh Yes, Ren Six is banned in Legacy. In large part due to Wasteland, but and Brainstorm, Nile Spell Bomb, sure. Okay, so they're not any lands. Uh, they're fishing for lands. 
specifically a fetch land for their rand six. No land, five spells in hand. I mean, that makes, makes Dahlia really good, I guess. But things that, that, that makes, I'm sorry, they can't. They can just kill Dahlia. So it's terrible. Uh, what's up, Mighty Linguini? Naya Winona, we had a lot of turn three kills. A lot of turn three kills. That'll be up on my YouTube over the next day or so. Oh, boy. What are we doing? What are we doing? Stupid Ren and Six. We hates Ren and Six. We hates it. Um, Dahlia would be so good right now. A celebrant or two one drops? It's probably just celebrant. If we draw a land, we can go one drop, two drop. Yeah. All right. Really awkward hand. So Ren six goes to two. They have five spells in hand at least. Please don't draw a fetch land. Dark Confidant. That's bad. Actually, it's not that bad. I can just kill it. That's kind of cool. But I want to attack Ren, too. I don't see what we draw here. That was good. That was really good, actually. Um, okay. So, Traveler. Supplier. Priest. Kill Dark Confidant, they lose two. Draw a card, make two black. Mill some cards. A lot of triggers. Lots and lots and lots of triggers. Uh, so that one, that one, that one. All right, here we go. Token, mill three. Mill two, return to the ranks, no! Trigger, trigger. Sack Bob, make two black. We draw a white source, we can cast two spells. Did it. Uh, doing it and doing it and doing it right. Not too shabby. Not too bad of a turn. They don't draw land, they Big trouble. A Priest of Forgotten Gods works. It is really, really good. Really good. They've already proven that they can't kill it at the moment, so... Naya Onono is awesome. Uh, lots of turn three kills. Look for that one on YouTube over the next few days. I may also play it in my cool stuff video for this coming Monday. Deal one to Viscera Seer. So we're going to scry one. Deal two. Cool celebrants. We're just kind of poking away here. Bottom. Ren six is dead. That's good. That's got to be a pioneer one on, one on a deck. Like the Angras Marauders is in is in pioneer, right? They played a land. Huh. Now what? Goif three four Tarmogoyf, aka sorry, not sorry. All right. Uh, this thing's a little bit sure. So now, the question is, what do we sack here? Dahlia is obviously good, and we're going to kill Renin Six. Do I sack one of the Celebrants? Sacking Thalia means I can attack for... I can attack, kill Renin Six, deal more damage, keep the Celebrants in play... But Dahlia is really good. Yeah, we probably just ship a celebrate. We also have Lurus pretty soon too. Yeah. All right. So let's um, let's just start there. 
Choose them. Sack these two. I think they take four, which is pretty good. Take two more. Sack Tarmogoyf. Can I get a witness? So now we have everything. We have get back, we get put Luris in our hand, play witness, play Thalia, kill Ren and Six. Just about closing time here. Closing time. Bin your Ren and Six and uh, say goodbye to your league. We 5 0'd. Closing time. I can't think of words in the spot because I'm not that clever, yeah. Up, oh, they said in chat, star, 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 F6 through the turn. Would it have mattered? Like, I'm not sure what they're playing here. It's like, I good, you know? All right, I mean, like, they're just super dead, right? Play Luris. Uh, you just celebrate, right? Sack for a million, play celebrate. Sure, okay. I guess you could play around Anger of the Gods, I guess, but. Trophy! Dun 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 dun. Da, 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 da. This is the victory song, closing time. I'm getting really dizzy and I'm gonna throw up on the stream. I actually am dizzy. Man, I'm old. The older you get, you can't handle like dizzy stuff. Like when I go on roller coasters now, I go on like two or three roller coasters and I'm like, all right, I think I'm done for the day. I'm old. All right, that was sweet. Um, that's back to back five O's. I five O'd yesterday on like Monday too, right? Um, where's the deck? Where's the deck? Where's the deck? I can't see. I'm, I'm dizzy. I'm dizzy. I'm dizzy. Um, this deck's pretty sweet, honestly. It's scrappy. It's scrappy, but definitely a really cool deck. Um, a lot of cool synergy stuff going on. Um, Priest was obviously, it was good that game, but it wasn't really great at all the time. Dahlia was pretty good. Wouldn't mind another one drop, maybe. I'm not really sure. Um, Rally is an all-in kind of combo card, whereas Return to the Ranks can do the same thing. You also just cast it for value, too. Um, I would say Rally would have been better in our Tron matchup, but overall, Return to Ranks was better overall. Um, this is the victory song. Great. Streamception. Trophy. Dun, 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 dun. Dun. How do I make money doing this? You know, this is my job. This is my actual job. Um, Swell Box and Blood Gaster are way off plan. Way that's that's a different deck. But yeah, deck was super cool. So um, give it a, give it a spin. It's probably super cheap. Honestly, I can't imagine if that costs that much. Like Thought Seize and Thalia are the only like reasonable cards besides the lands. So yeah, deck super sweet. So if you're watching on YouTube, um, like, comment, subscribe. YouTube folks.